Hey guys, Floyd here from FNH Adventures. We're down in the dungeon today working on our um, tank, our bait tank. Uh, we're going to try to give it a little bit of an upgrade, making a filter system here for it. You kind of see part of this system. Hope the light's good enough down here. It's kind of dark in the dungeon. Uh, I'll kind of guide y'all along through some of this. There's my tank. I just filled it up with water, which is hot water. I've got one bull head, so I'll have to wait till the water is in there. Waiting to be transported back in. I've been running this tank for about a year like, like it is, but I wanted to get a filter filtration system on it. And uh, I can't take all the credit because uh, Spencer over at River Certified, I watched one of his YouTube videos. Great YouTuber, good cat fisherman. Um, kind of done a video on his bait tank system, so I kind of imitated it part of the way uh, on my filtration system. I've, I've had a tank with just a uh, little aerator in it was all. So what we got going on here, and I hope it works. You know what I bought this little pump, just a little bitty pump here. Uh, I think it's a 160 gallon a minute. I believe what it's supposed to be. It's hard to believe that thing will do that. But uh, off of eBay, I think it was like $8 and something. Real cheap. Well, I'm going to try it. You know, for that price. It's supposed to stick to the bottom of the tank down here. It actually stuck down there. I may have to trim some of this holes off. We'll see. So what I've done is took my bucket, drilled some holes in the bottom and I got another catch tub and I drilled some holes in the bottom of it just something I had laying around here put a bucket to go in that and that will, and I can lean this show y'all over there to drain back in and still put my cover on my screen, which is right over there you gotta have a screen when you got chums and uh, perch, sunfish, what have you because they will jump out so just set it rudely on that ice chest and uh, see if it works. Um, to start with, I've got some socks that I just put some regular old charcoal in. I'm going to put them in the bottom. I, said I just put regular old charcoal like you cook with in. We'll put them down at the bottom. I've got one extra stock and only put three in here, so yeah. <clears throat> and then I've got these pads. I used to uh, clean some floors up here at a local grocery store and we'd save them when they get wore out for the machine, so didn't know what I'd ever do with them, but hey, I think they work real good for this. Stuff them down in there and cut some in half so the hose just wouldn't be draining straight down in and they got holes I'm making a mess of that like I said my fish has been doing pretty good but it's when they're in here long term uh, even though perch is the only ones we can really take alive to another body of water up here in Kansas and Nebraska uh, you still want to keep them in your bait tank and keep them good and alive but the rest of them you still want to keep good and alive and then when you get ready for a fresh fish you can take them out of your tank and they're fresh to go so just kind of step all them in there like I said I don't know y'all I'm going to see if this works just as quick as I do here. What I've done here is I just drilled a bunch of little holes in there and I tried to silicone that so it'd kind of stay but I don't want it blowing out and just stuck the tube up in there. Like I said we may have to shorten that tube so it's not a long draw. Let's see what happens here if we plug it up. See 
it's going. I'm gonna have to put some bigger holes in it, but we got it go, guys. Sitting there pumping away. It's already running out down there, it looks like. Yeah. Running out them holes. Right back into the tank. Looks like we gotta go. Yeah. Just a simple filtration system that'll help help keep your fish lively. Um, this is what you want to do when you want the best bait possible. So, good deal. So think about upgrading while work. We got some of them stock tanks. It's a 75 gallon and 100 gallons. Think about upgrading to one of them. But I've been waiting until I got this system here working. See, I can probably wind up shortening that hole if I need to. I think I'm going to zip tie it right there and get me a zip tie so it don't smash together. Here's a go guys. Here's a go. Like I said, I think uh, River Certified, when he showed us his tank system, kind of basically the same thing, but it uh, sure gave me some good ideas and stuff I had laying around the house, except for this tube and the pump. And, uh, keep our bait a lot live there. So, good deal. Thanks, guys. Remember, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos, more fishing. Uh, hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. Thanks, guys.